Okay, so I really got to take this time to thank Gordon Ramsay because he taught me when to be a leader and when to be the follower. And when I saw him doing this in front of me in senior year, went a little like this. Okay, okay, before you critics say that I clickbaited, hear me out. Who cares if I actually handshook Gordon Ramsay and then he gave me his one to two minute criticism about how my food is crap hypothetically, but he can always teach a lesson through a YouTube video. If you haven't seen the video already, I can put it down below, but basically he's humbling himself. He's learning about how to cook a dish from a local in a country that he's visiting. And hey, you know, Gordon Ramsay, he may be the best chef in the world, and he may yell at people for telling them how crap they are for the food that they're making that is crap, but he himself also will take time to be a listener, the two ears. And Gordon knows that he can't always be the leader. I learned that in senior year, I can't always be the leader. Crap, I took input from the underclassmen because they may know things that I don't know. As of right now, for those who may not know, I recently got viral. Now I joined the club to expand to expand upon my leadership skills within my political philosophy and I realized I can't always be the leader. But hey, the fact that I got viral can show that I do have a spot in this club. But I don't plan on having a leadership role, I plan on having a good listening role. Give my two cents and when I give those two cents, I better make sure that they're beautiful coins. What can you do so Gordon Ramsay would be proud of you and not yell at you like this? <laughs> Just kidding. And I said this before, back when I was a freshman in high school, and I'll say it again as a sophomore in college. Just because you listen to someone, that doesn't mean you're agreeing with what they're saying. It just means that you're hearing them out. So I encourage a lot of people, especially in our generation, is to hear others out. And you know, leaders listen actually. Leaders don't always talk, they actually listen. The ratio of the two ears to one mouth just shows you gotta listen more. And input really, really does matter. Like Gordon Ramsay, when he does his episodes in Kitchen Nightmares, he always listens to the problems of his clients. And then after he listens to the problems, then he will give his solutions, his harsh criticism, and so forth. So to make a recap, just because you listen to someone, that doesn't mean you're actually agreeing with them, it just means that you're hearing them out. And hearing people out is actually good, so listen to other people. As I believe that I could be a good leader one day in my generation, by being a good follower, by being a good listener, and always showing respect to authority. I do that at my local club. I actually really listen to my club president. I cheer for her, I support her, and I'm the yes ma'am, no ma'am type of attitude. When time comes for me to give my two beautiful coins, I will give my two beautiful coins. And of course, I'm not gonna be like a Gordon Ramsay that shouts like, Madam President, you're wrong it's actually so yeah no I'm not gonna do that because that will probably get me in trouble and kicked out so neither should you all do that only Gordon can yell just like only Simon Cowell can say the meanest things what I mean by showing your two coins will be like hey I have something to say I deep down 100% believe it's yada 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 and be confident, own up to your two coins, and be proud of your two coins. And since I'm on here anyways, I might as well let you all know that right now in my personal life, I am at an all time high, but I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I worry that it may go back down, and it's okay if I go back down. We all have our ups and downs. I know it's so cliche, but think about it. When I was at my lowest low, I knew it's gonna go back up. Even though it may not feel like it at the moment, I know and knew that I will go back up, but I'm not gonna let the anxiety take over me. It's okay to be aware, just don't get anxious because they're not the same. Don't get those two A's messed up. I hope that can also help you all as well. Sometimes I've made the mistake that I have feared that I might mess up and then I'll go back to where I was a few years back. I'm enjoying my highest highs and I'm rocking it and this is why I'm making a video right now to inspire you all. So there's that and then there's other times that I have said to always, always find how your role can benefit another person's role and how their role may benefit others around you. Know when to give your two coins, and most importantly, before you give your two coins, beautiful, by the way, beautiful two coins, before you give it, always, always enjoy other people's two coins. And that's all thanks to Gordon Ramsay. And he gave me that to my heart.
back in senior year. And if you made it to the end of this video, you are awesome. You have internal wisdom within you. So give yourself a like by clicking that down below. And if you're new to this channel, then give it a subscribe. Got questions, got comments, got concerns, no problem, comment it down below. If you want to privately message me, then DM me at Instagram. Otherwise, y'all have a great day. Keep pushing it. And let's build some Gen Z unity. Peace.